Here we are again. We've got a different product today. We've got the MSR reactor. There's some really good uh, features with this. It's got a lot of wonderful things associated with it. If you read reviews, I read reviews until I was blue in the face. And I find that everything that they say on their website is definitely true. There are a lot of great pluses. It heats water very fast. Um, it is very hot and very wind resistant. We're going to do the medium wind test today. But there are quite a few drawbacks and I'm going to run through those here real quick for you before we get started. <coughs> One of the things is they come with a see-through lid. As we see here, I have not even begun to heat the water and the lid has almost become you know, uh, non-see-through because of the water. Once the steam heats up, uh, it will make the see-through lid basically useless. Uh, there is no way to strain any of the water except this small hole located here, but that's more like for uh, heat to escape so that the lid doesn't create pressure inside the kettle. Uh, the adjustability is basically, as mo some people have said, on and off. I tried to cook the other day a meal uh, uh, and it, it unfortunately was so hot that you had to turn it down so low but the wind was blowing outside and I had to take the kettle off to make sure that it was very low but it kept going out and at that point when it was so low uh, the wind would simply blow it out. Um, the other thing was there's no way to tell once it's out in daylight whether the stove is still functioning um, or still burning or not. So one of the, the drawbacks there is you can't tell whether the wind, uh, I'm sorry, whether the stove is still running. Um, it doesn't have a self-lighting device, so in that wind, it was very difficult to tell whether it was lit, whether it was not. Um, so that was one, another one of the drawbacks. Um, in one day, I carried the reactor with the burner inside. It does come with a small towel. However, in that transition of riding uh, to work, uh, it created one or two small scratches. I couldn't imagine over time how many scratches would actually appear inside the kettle with the gas as well. So that's another drawback. But with those in mind, we're going to go ahead and try a five-minute test here under medium wind conditions. Okay, it looks like it's lit up now. Okay, it's going to start glowing to a nice red, real nice red. Now that's pretty much one of the lowest settings that it could be on. We're going to turn this uh, fan on. Okay, now the fan is on medium. <coughs> We're going to go ahead and crank this thing up and stick. Here we go. We're going to see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. Now it's on full blast. Alright, there. Now it's sitting down on it. It's a bit unstable, I would say, in my preference. Um, the other stoves are much more stable, and it's hard to tell whether it's sitting sometimes perfectly on the stove. So. Um, coming up on 30 seconds now. like we're at one minute. Seeing some bubbles forming at the bottom there. Got some steam. In my experience the uh, the wind basically doesn't doesn't do much to this so if you are looking for uh, that as a plus it, it's great. If you're going to boil water or if you're going to make very limited cooking things that may not stick 
my one meal um, stuck to the bottom and it was an, it was a, a bit difficult to clean. I prefer my non-stick pot. So now we're at a minute and 45 seconds and you can begin to hear it. It's beginning to uh, make a good bit of noise. Two minutes. Maybe a little bit colder than some of the other tests that I might have run, but uh, still pretty good. Again, this is two cups of water. minutes 45 seconds and basically we've come to the point where we're in a successful boil if the lid had been on I think we would have gotten a little more speed now at this point I would say stopping at three minutes was fair for two cups of water I'm going to show you what it's like to turn it down one really touchy because it could go out. It's out. So I can't even adjust it low. I'd have to light it again and if the wind were blowing that would make a pretty uh, pretty annoying setup because you'd have to keep taking it off and lighting it again and then That's probably one of the lowest settings you could go on. But once again, there's there's no way to tell your flame control once the pot, uh, the kettle is, is on. So with that in mind, the uh, reactor's not going to work very well for myself because I'm more of a cook, but I hope that uh, this helps others in their endeavor to find what works best for them.